appreciate you. Um, I want to just first start with telling you about what happened today. Um, the harassment that we received. Um, they did not allow people to come into the courtroom. They were ush making people leave the courtroom in closing remarks, which is supposed to be a public place. They were kicking people, um, basically stopping them at the door and telling they couldn't come in. My son's pastor couldn't come in. Uh, Connie Johnson wasn't able to come in, who's actually running for Senate right now. No, governor. Governor, I'm sorry, governor. Um, they treated us like we were criminals. They stalked us the entire time that we were there. At every turn, they tried to make life difficult for us. They kept making accusations at us. At the end, they said that only three of Trey's family members can come in to the reading. And only four of Clarence's family members could come in. And Josh Stewart, the one that shot my son, they got to fill up the whole motherfucking row. There was no limit on who they could bring in. Weren't allowed to be in the hallway. They came making accusations that some people were outside trying to get the jurors' attention. The jurors were in the motherfucking juror box making decisions. But they kept trying to harass us. They kept following us around. We're seated. They kept coming in. Uh, intimidation tactics left and right. The people that um, should be in there standing up for justice are not. You had close personal ties with the judge's mom and another juror, as well as the victims of the family who they continued to talk to throughout this case. They went out, made their decision after seven and a half hours, came back, convicted my son of first degree murder without the possibility of parole. Without the possibility of parole. Yes, yeah. without Life without without Charged parole. him with without. shooting with intent to kill. 28 years. What was the other charge? I went blank, assault, you guys. Assault, assault, with, deadly assault with a deadly weapon. 10 plus, uh, years. 10 plus years. They convicted Clarence of second degree murder. Assault, 20 28 years. years. They convicted him of assault. Uh, Selena, do you remember what his charge was and what the years were? Second degree, 28 years. And then another five. Assault with a dangerous weapon. An intent. Ten years. I don't even remember these two. I, I, I went blank too, you guys. Yeah, I, I, think he did too. I don't even remember that. Didn't then they didn't poll the jury. There is no there is no way possible that this jury came up with that verdict. Out of twelve people, there were eight people bawling their eyes out. They kept forcing them to come up with a unanimous. There's no way that those jurors agreed. And then the judge, I mean, the jurors and the judge decided that they weren't going to poll the jury. Trey and Clarence uh, about passed out. They were holding back their tears. Every juror was crying. Our families, of course, were crying, upset. Of course, when my son called me, we held him up like we do. And we reminded him who he is. And told him, you keep your head up. You're the son of God and God is not going to forsake you. And he will not leave you. And this is not over. And we will be appealing this to the highest court that we possibly can. I thank you guys. This is not over. And I need every single one of you on my team.
there is no way that this can be okay. There is no way in hell that this was not tainted. There's no way in hell that this was not a huge discrimination. And we have to appeal and I need y'all's help. We've got to get the best lawyer. And I'm not saying his, his lawyer hasn't been amazing. Trey loves her to death, but we need a high profile attorney because this is a high profile case. You've got two boys who've never been in trouble in their entire life who was shot by a fucking drug addict and his driver had warrants for his arrest. It's, it's joy. Tell her, okay. that lied over and over and over on the stand. 17. I am hurting. We're all hurting you guys. But like I told my son, I've never left you a day in your life and I will never leave you ever in your life. And you may have to sit in there for another year or two, but I promise you his life is not over and he will come home. They wouldn't let us record. They wouldn't even let us have our phones. They, made us take they wouldn't the let us in the hallway. They tried to block the boys where we couldn't see them. They had their phones on the other side. But yeah, all, all the others, them. they got their phones. The man that shot my son's family, all of them got to use their phones. They got to have their phones. They did us dirt ball dirty, you guys, but that's okay. They're all connected. At this lower level, it's too much corruption in this Oklahoma County Jail. It's too much corruption in this Oklahoma criminal justice system. And we're going to expose all of it. Oklahoma City. I need you guys' help. I want to thank you. It's been a really, really long day and really tough day. And um, I'm going to let you go for now. And I'm going to figure out how to put this on where people can continue to watch it. I don't know how. We love you guys. We'll be um, uh, having another update. I just got a, uh, a message that I need to tend to tomorrow. It'll give me more information about uh, this appeals process. Thanks, you guys, for following. We love you.